That locomotive FC, which is gearing up to restart its season on Saturday evening at Southwest University Park against RGV FC. Now, the club announced yesterday that at least its first two matches would be held without fans, and that could extend beyond those games depending on how the coronavirus develops in El Paso and across Texas. Now, the big question on the minds of many right now, what will happen if, locomo if a locomotive player or staff member, member tests positive for COVID-19? Well, first, the club is testing everyone weekly, every Monday, and teams across the USL are are being asked to self-quarantine for the rest of the season. The locomotive players we've spoken with say they're doing just that, but nothing is certain these days, so the club has protocol in place. If somebody tests positive, we will absolutely quarantine that person, um, make sure that they're comfortable. We'll report that to our, doc, our, our docs and our ATC, of course, um, and we'll monitor symptoms to see what, what additional services or, or help they may need. Um, but we'll continue if everyone else comes in, comes back negative for that. I will continue to move forward. Locomotive FC officials say they will be forthcoming with any positive test results within the club. Last week's results were all negative. El Paso was tested yesterday and is still waiting results ahead of this week's first match against RGV. The USL will be the first league in America to play its games in home stadiums. Locomotive FC will have a new player at its disposal when the season restarts on Saturday. Defender Adair Morelli joined El Paso from FC Juarez on Tuesday. He's number five right there celebrating with the goalkeeper. Morelli played for Los Bravos since 2015 making 106 appearances and scoring three goals. I'm very happy to be here. I think I, I, I can help the team with my experience, with uh, uh, like uh, working very hard, and I think we are going to be very successful. The 29-year-old boasts and all, or excuse me, boosts an already formidable El Paso backline ahead of the restart and final.